All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the video. And in this one, we're going to be doing Mannerheim Line. Again, we're in the LT432. And what's going on on Mannerheim Line, guys? Well, I can tell you that this map is a lot more open than most people think. I think they either don't know that or they just kind of forget how open this map is and you are very exposed in a lot of areas of the map where you think you might be safe so we're starting on the east spawn um i would usually suggest that you come to this bush however i had a feeling that lhm tv was going here i think i was looking back or whatever um or he said that he was going there but I can't remember, but in any case, he's here, and I decided to come up to this bush right here. And from here, if you get here fast enough, you just want to kind of spot check it. I come up kind of carefully, make sure I'm not lit um, from someone else, like maybe over here or whatever, the light tanks. Um, and you can spot people that are going up the one line um, or the two line, however you want to look at that. Um, the Charioteer and the Type 59, I spotted both of them, but the shots were not too clear, so I figured I would just stay passive for the moment. I didn't want to take those shots and give away my position just yet because we were currently spotting that Scorpion G there as well, and also the Bulldog was here. So I kind of wanted to stay passive for now. I don't want people knowing where I am. And sometimes it's important to do that, guys. You want to actually remain passive so that people don't know where you are so you can get initial spots on people still as they poke like the Scorpion G. The Scorpion G does still does not know I'm here. Um, so he might poke and you know, I can, he'll be exposed and my tank destroyers will clean him up. So there he is. I'm looking for a shot. Um, I'm able to get get it off there um, where I still had a clean shot, but unfortunately, um, no pen. So now we have the Bulldog kind of pushing in the mid here. This guy has been very aggressive the whole game so far. I don't think that he's really going to stay alive much longer. And sure enough, he's sitting right um, next to this bunker here. So I'm going to load an HE shell. He goes dark here, but I'm actually able to um, put the shot into him there and we clean him up with the HE. And now I'm sitting here. I'm spotted. I know that I'm spotted, but I'm kind of waiting for the Scorpion G to maybe poke and try and get a shot into me. He's smart about it. He doesn't poke and he'll end end up like in this area right here you'll see him um the type 59 or tl or somebody spots him in this area right here so now i'm going to push and this map like we'll discuss the whole map on the free replay camera because this game rather is very very quick we won the north side of this map extremely fast in like two minutes we had this one and what i like to do once um we win the north side of this map, if we win the north side of this map from the east spawn, is I will push the north immediately. North to south, rather. I will push this very, very fast. So basically the west side of the map, I should say. I like to push it very quick and push in here to this bush and start getting angles on people immediately. And why do I say this? Because this is a very open part of the map, just like the whole map is but this is a long stretch and what i want to do is spot people immediately especially if there's a tank up here and sometimes i'll also instead come around down like this and poke up here but i decided to do it from this area you can based on where enemies are you can kind of navigate it differently if you want but i decided to do it like this and I knew we had this entire map won. The even 90 is the only question mark right now. Pretty much everyone else is lit. And I'm like, let's just kind of go in here. And that's what we decided to do. So the even 90 was still dark. What I wanted to do was try and run through like this, go on a very far angle, just to try and find out where the even was. And sure enough, he ends up in this bush right here and we're able to spot him. And I'm coming all the way around so I can get to here and get the angles on the heavies. Now, I'm just going to fast forward through this because this like, we won this game so fast, guys. I come around the corner here um, and I think we get like two shots into the Panther here. And like this is pretty much the game. I'll go through it with you guys. It starts getting a little closer. They're kind of bringing it back, but we have the entire map one. So eventually we kind of take advantage of this. Um, um, Progetto actually bounces me, which is pretty crazy. And that's it. Like we cap out. I go after the Panther. I end up ramming the Panther. And that's pretty much the game. We capped out. Um, and there you go. So let's talk about... I know this is a very fast game, guys. But I want to talk about the map as I always do for these kinds of videos. Um, just waiting for this yeah, replay complete thing to come up. And what do we have? Well, this is going to be our east side of the map. So east, west, north, and south. So we don't confuse you guys. Um, 
I don't confuse you guys. Um, and let's go over the starting positions for light tanks, guys. So if we're spawning from the east side of the map, what I would always suggest you do is you want to try and do what the LHM TV did. This is a really great spot. When you come up to it, I recommend you kind of come down like this and then go over to it like so, so that the person that might be approaching <clears throat> this bush in a light tank doesn't spot you and then you sit in it like this and you can spot like this area of the map um, you can even spot people that might get a little aggressive over here it's a very good area of the map one other kind of um, risky spot that I could show you is this bush right here it works much better in a small tank like the even 90 I made it work in the t92 as well but what you could do from here especially if you have CVS is spot heavies that are crossing this is going to be vital if you have tank destroyers sitting back here however the people don't always come up to this area of the map so keep that in mind if you don't see any tank destroyers coming up here um, and you're sitting here for like a minute just run away man it's not even worth spotting them crossing because nobody's really going to have shots you can give the team information if you want but you're not going to really get any spotting um, assistance out of it right so i would recommend you come here but one alternative is to do what we did and come all the way get aggressive and come all the way to this bush right here and from this bush again you can spot people crossing here you can spot people maybe that get aggressive here um, it's a little downhill so not always but sometimes you'll also get people in this area i remember on my stream today i think we actually had a lot of people getting very aggressive on this like close side of the cliff and I was able to light them and get shots at them and I was just sitting down here and kind of poking up and shooting them and from here you can also spot this just like you can spot it from here but you can spot it from here as well and you can actually spot it in my opinion it might even be better from this bush because you're spotting people that are poking on this very corner right here right um, it's just the way it kind of works you'll spot them even faster coming up here and then um, if you need to get safe obviously you just pull down just be cautious of this bush right here so like people like to sit right here you just have to be careful of that that's really one of the only things you got to be careful of but you actually have shots at those people as well so just be mindful try and put yourself in between like put this rock in between yourself and someone sitting here if you can get the right angle you know you just have to kind of sit like this and be cautious about it i wouldn't recommend doing this in a very tall tank maybe the american lights you might not want to try this because you might be sitting up like this and then they'll get shots in the lt432 we were like down here it's a little safer if you know what i mean so then we pushed north guys and again i kind of explained or we pushed the west side of this map rather but I think of it as like, this is the north, right? And I want to win this side of the map, if that makes sense. But we pushed this area of the map. And again, you can try and run down like this and get an angle on enemies, like coming up here. You, I don't think you can actually come up this way. I think you have to come up this way. I don't think your tank will actually traverse this. So you come up here um, and then you have the angle on people, right? Um, and you can also spot someone here. I like to do this in a light tank, like come up like this and you just have a decent angle or you can also try and come up to these bushes here. Just be mindful of whoever the heck is here, man, because you don't want to get whacked like behind. Like, you know what I mean? Don't like run all the way up here when you're when you still aren't sure if anyone's sitting in this area. And again, use your sixth sense, guys. I said this in my previous video. Use your sixth sense as basically a map for where enemies might be like if i'm sitting on the at this rock like this and i poke like this and poke back and i'm spotted that instantly is going to tell me that someone is sitting in this bush if that makes sense and you can use sixth sense as a tool so if you don't do this do it guys do spot checks and use sixth sense to be able to determine where unspotted tanks are sitting and you can even click there and tell your team about it right um, if people are going to pay attention once you um win like i think this area of the map yeah man like you're probably going to win the game depending on what the heck's going on on the other side right but for this game in particular we won this game man just we won the north so fast that we were able to capitalize on it and um that's how we were able to win this game if you're trying to defend from an attack like we performed right you want to sit here in this area you want to sit here in this area and when all else fails, you come down here, get a few more shots off in like this little ditch or knock some trees down and sit back here and get those shots off, guys. Um, if you're 
trying to defend from heavies over here. You can sit here and you can sit maybe in here. Um, you can also, if you're in a tank destroyer, try and hold it off here. But I'm going to show you what the heavies can do from our side. Um, what the heavies can do from our side in order to, you know, make this stretch not mean a thing, right? Because what you can do is traverse over here. I'll show you that actually right now. Let's do that. So over here from our spawn, um, I like to say that north is maybe more important on this map, but for our spawn, the south is actually very vital as well, because if you win the south, a lot of heavies will start poking up like in this area and whatever, um, or they'll poke up right here and they'll try and like spot and get shots. But what you can do is actually come up over this um, little hill here. You come down as far as you can, you kind of wiggle yourself, wiggle yourself, you drop down into the water, and you come up right here. And once you're here, you can literally traverse all the way over to this corner, and then you have this angle. And there's even like some little bushes right here, so you might even be able to, if you have really good gun depression, you can sit like right here, man. And you will spot enemies, like enemy tank destroyers that are sitting here, and you'll win this entire side of the map and it's very very vital and a really really cool trick that you can do to basically like eliminate this whole i'll call it a roadway to the enemy right because if you're trying to just r drive through like this tank destroyers are going to sit here and here and you're going to get wrecked right so i don't recommend doing that try doing this traverse thing you just need a tank quick enough and you need to traverse it well enough so that when you drop down into the water you don't drown before you come up in this area so that's a unique trick guys um, if you're playing from our spawn again from our spawn it doesn't really work from the other spawn because you can drive up like over here um, but this is it like over here there's two rock formations so it doesn't really work the other way around if you know what i mean however this is a really good hold down spot to brawl in if you want to um, try it out so you can experiment with that. Now, from their spawn, pushing, um, it's a little bit different. And we'll talk about the light tank positions from, from their spawn. So you have a couple options. You can try and go north. You can try and go to this bush here. Like this is an option is to go to this bush. However, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't like this bush because of this little gap right here. And I just find these bushes to like not have a lot of concealment or whatever. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm spotted. Even if I come at it like this, or I come at it like this, but I just don't like it, man. There's like a gap here. So what I decide to do instead, like nine times out of 10 is all rush to this area of the map and similar to what we did right here what i like to do so i showed you when i was in this bush and you can get shots of people going like this what i try and do is get here and from here you can spot people in this area that tank destroyer area if you're lucky you might even spot someone over here that has like no camo as a tank destroyer but more importantly at the start of the game you'll spot people that are crossing which gives your team information and also you can um you can obviously get side shots on these people. So it's worth it, in my opinion, um, because you can get safe again. Like you take a shot and get safe if you get lit. Um, and for slower tanks, you might even be able to get two shots off on them. So it's totally worth it, man. Like I always like coming here, um, especially with CVS, because again, that knocks down concealment of moving vehicles. And you can you can literally spank people, man, um, right to the side plate as they make this um, pass. So that's that. And that's really about almost everything I wanted to cover guys when you're pushing from their spawn and push pushing the north you can then come from here and come up to this rock I like to come right here so this way if anyone is left like over in this area and they start coming down like this as your team is pushing into them you have the shots right and then you can even advance like up to this rock and try and start spotting this or you can just dive down and you can come up um, right here but be mindful of people like tank destroyers that are going to sit here or like sit in here because you don't want to get whacked man but it's helpful to come up like this and you can try and get the the back shots or whatever one more thing i wanted to discuss is trying to defend from our side of the map guys i showed you kind of how to defend from the other side of the map um and the areas to go where you want to go again is here you can go here 
you can go into these bush lines here you can even come back here depending on where the enemy team is coming from but from their spawn right it's so much more difficult to push in a heavy again i showed you the special traverse thing over here in the south for our spawn but their spawn they all have to poke up here or they got a risk coming around this way and that's where you can defend this side of the map pretty easily man um at least for the south spawn right when you're trying to defend north it's a little tricky because you can try and sit here but i feel like it's easier for people to push coming this way because again all the have all the heavies that are going to poke up here have to expose themselves to tank destroyers that might be sitting here tank destroyers that might be sitting here or here or here and you can just absolutely whack people that continue to poke up here especially if you're um in a tank that has like heat shells man you can just burn right through people's turrets and stuff if you know what i mean so that's how i would i would suggest that you defend this side of the map if you um are spawning here and you need to defend so i think that's it guys i sometimes like to come to this bush too if i'm also trying to defend from this side because then it forces people to like have to expose themselves if they want to get shots into me and you can spot people that are poking up here so that's it guys we'll get into the end plates now any questions do let me know we talked about the uh, where the light tanks go um, how to advance and how to defend um because again i emphasize light tanks so we showed the initial positions right we showed how to defend from both sides we showed how to press or attack from both sides advance progressively scout whatever you want to call it um and that's pretty much it for yeah that's pretty much it for manor Heimline. all right guys let's get into the end plates i'll keep this open just for a thumbnail of the map and for my video and um Let's just hit this one more time. It gets weird there on the taskbar for whatever reason when it's in the f um, borderless window mode. So this was a third class game, guys. I don't know what this little badge is here. I'm not certain. Um, <clears throat> we did, what was it? 1650 damage, 622 um, assist there. So not a spectacular game, but every time I get onto maps that I haven't um, shown you guys yet, and they're decent games for me at least, and not like, raffle stomps i like to call it um then i will show you guys the game because again we haven't done mannerheim line yet so our type 59 looks like he had a great game um <clears throat> and yeah that's pretty much it guys like nothing nothing fancy we did have three kills and um here is the detailed report i was actually running standard account um today on the stream we got up to like level 20 on this so i did get like another three days of premium because i bought the battle pass for like 20 bucks i always think it's worth it because the amount of extra stuff you get for purchasing the battle pass for only like 20 bucks um, as long as you're going to do all the stages i think it's i think it's fairly worth it right like i don't like giving wargaming my money usually but i do um think it's worth it so i'm actually averaging 12 10 damage in this tank um, after this video i think it went down a little bit but i was having great great games in the lt432 man i really was they were very consistent and then i streamed today and we had like a 20 percent win rate over like 16 battles so hey man it happens um your luck has to run out at some point eventually right so there you go guys mannerheim line i hope you enjoyed i know these videos get very long and maybe boring at times but i really want to give you guys as much detail as possible because i'm only going to do these videos once um for each map in this much detail specifically talking to you guys about the map and not just showing you a game right um because if it's like a twitch extra especially like you're not going to learn that much i want you to watch these videos and know as much about the map as i do um just from watching the one video because i've played hundreds of battles probably on all of these maps that i'm showing you guys and there's probably people that have played thousands that know even more than me but i like to pass along my knowledge um, where i can to you guys so if you have any questions comment below anything guys um and i will get back to you um and if you have any advice for me on these maps uh, or these particular videos for, for the maps or you want to add something again feel free to comment um do subscribe guys it helps me out um truly like i my goal is to eventually get to a thousand subs and we're slowly getting there i'm confident guys we're eventually going to get it and always give the thumbs up guys that that doesn't help me necessarily like it does but what it does is 
allows the video to get recommended to more people. So more people can see the video and that's really why I'm doing these videos. I just want to help you guys out um, and give you guys as much information as possible so that maybe you can enjoy the game more. Um, because I think that's important, man. Like, people get... Like, the chat is always so toxic in this game, man. I really want you guys to get into the game and try to enjoy it. And if um, knowing a lot more about the game and more about the maps um, helps you enjoy it more, then that's what I'm here for. All right, guys. I will catch you for the next one. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.